What is going on guys? Greggles TV Shield Experience Upgrade 5.2 has just come out now. It should be out for by tomorrow, which is Friday. And if it's not, guys, you can sign up like I did for the preview program. I'll link it in the description down below. And if you don't already have an Nvidia Shield TV, guys, get one. They're amazing. Nvidia is constantly updating this, adding new features, adding new things all the time. Useful things, not just lame things. So let's get into this update itself. So this one is basically all about watching and recording live TV with Plex. That's probably the biggest thing to take away from this. So it says, did you know that ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, and CW are broadcast free with the Plex on Shield? You can now watch and record free over the air TV and up to 1080p resolution with 5.1 surround sound and stream recorded shows to any device anywhere in the world. Now this is huge. Basically what you need to do with this, and I already did a video on it, basically you need a NVIDIA Shield TV, you need a TV antenna, and you need an HD home run, and then also Plex. Plex you can download uh, in the Google Play Store on this device. Now with Plex Pass, it usually costs money, but they're giving you a six month membership for free. I have it already, I bought it a long time ago. I got a lifetime subscription, and you can too, or you can pay monthly um, if you want on that. You can now connect USB tuners to the Plex Live TV as well. So Shield TV now supports select USB tuners for Plex Live TV, including the dual tuner from Hoppage, I guess you say. You can write to network storage now, record TV shows and movies directly to your network attached NAS via Plex. So if you have a network drive, you can save those TV and movie shows that are playing on your TV directly to that drive from your Nvidia Shield TV. You can now stream movies and TV shows in 4K from the Google Play Movies app. It supports over 100 movies in 4K. Plus, you have Chromecast and you can do 4K that way. And in Netflix, also YouTube and Vudu, all in 4K. And if you didn't already know, it is kind of difficult at times to find 4K content and The Shield is offering you a bunch of 4K content. You can get some of these new games like Myst, Riven, the sequel to Myst, Cluster Truck, The Final Station, Stunt Wheels Party, Paragon, Batman, Heartstash, Ukulele, and Marvel Heroes 2016. Some of the other enhancements it gives you is you get the latest monthly Android security update. You can cast from your phone or tablet to your Nvidia Shield and up to 4K at 60 frames per second. You get 5.1 surround audio when casting Netflix, Google Play Movies and TV, Vudu, HBO Go, and Plex. Wi-Fi performance stability improvements, cast stability enhancements for Hulu and playback stability enhancements for Stars. Network storage directory and connectivity improvements. Shield remote upgrade to version 1.11. Shield remote with headphone jack upgrade to 1.10. And shield controller upgrade to firmware 1.04. So a huge, massive update. They seriously take this box, this NVIDIA Shield TV, very seriously. More so than almost any company I have ever had a TV box or any piece of hardware for. Constant updates, constant features. So let's get into the download. Just click on download and install. And the update is actually not that big. It's only 147.04 megabytes. So the update is all set and uh, the Plex app, if you don't already have it, just go, like I said, to the Google Play Store and download it on the NVIDIA Shield. And uh, I will do a separate video showing how to set up that DVR. So if you don't already have a TV antenna, um, I'll list that down below the one I'm using. Uh, if you wanna use the same setup I have actually, I'll list that so that you can record and play live over the air broadcast television for free. Uh, just to get yourself started with it. It's definitely a good way to cut the cord. And again, I have a video on that as well showing you how to set it up. So very easy. But anyways, um, there's not, you're not going to see a lot of cosmetic things on here. Everything's going to look the same. But uh, you do have those extra features like uh, some more 4K content. Uh, Plex can do DVR and a few other things as well. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will see you down the road. Peace.